What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy Cameron. Back at it again with a Call of Duty Cold Sweat gameplay. In today's gameplay, guys, we are talking about Season 1 Reloaded, the new update, and all the content it brought, and all the bugs and glitches it has brought. Guys, um, before you bring up Firebase Z, I will be dedicating its own video to that because there's a lot of t stuff to talk about a lot of content in that one map and it deserves its own video guys i'm not gonna like just gloss over it here i'm gonna go into it in depth i think either tomorrow or later today depending on how i feel but most likely tomorrow so stay tuned for that video but guys we're talking about the multiplayer aspect of the season one reloaded so there's no new guns no nothing like that all right but what we did get is a new map express and I love Express, guys. This was a great map from um, Black Ops 2, man. Every map in Black Ops 2 was a banger. And it looks like they're really remastering most of the Black Ops 2 maps, guys. And it kind of got the raid treatment, which was good. They didn't do the Infinity War treatment where they butcher the map and they freaking add safe places, new areas of the map that destroys the flow. Like, Infinity War destroyed every single map they remastered in Modern Snorfare. They ruined that freaking game, bro. Um, Vacant was terrible shipment was terrible um what was what else was there did they do oh backlot was the worst remaster that was awful i think hard hat was the only remaster that was actually good but all the other remasters in that game were horrendous they butchered them by adding places that weren't there before adding little safe spaces and doors and mounting and that game was the worst Call of Duty ever made. Well, the second worst Call of Duty ever made. Advanced Warfare is worse. But that's besides the point, guys. I could roast Modern Snorfare for years, man. I hate that game with a freaking passion, guys. But Express is exactly the same map from Black Ops 2. Just with... Just with <laughs> ew, dang, man. Tongue twister. Just with upgraded graphics and nobody building uh, roller coasters in the sky like in Black Ops 2. <laughs> but, guys, Express is a great map. I love it. It is really, really cool. Great, great time on this map. Uh, I like seeing it with the new graphics. But here's my one complaint about it. They should have made it 80s theme, bro. They should have made it 80s theme. Get rid of the bullet trains and all the futuristic stuff. They definitely should have capitalized and made it 80s themed. Just add like regular trains. And then there you go. It's 80s themed. Because I remember my parents growing up in the 80s telling me about bullet trains. I could take them from point A to point B in a matter of seconds, guys. <laughs> like, we don't even have that technology now, man. They for sure didn't have that shit 30 years ago. So, guys, I hope they add a little bit of 80s flair to it if they go back and edit it. But I highly doubt that. Because even with Raid... They, like, added 80s themed cars and stuff like that. And, a and Raid really wasn't that futuristic looking anyways. It's just a sick-ass mansion. But they definitely should have uh, made it 80s themed for Express. But that's my only complaint, right? Express is good. Good map. Legitimately the second best map in the game now. <laughs> Easily top three. All right. And that's my, one that's my one complaint about it. They did a great, great job with Express. But now... Let's talk about the negatives, man. Let's talk about the negatives now, guys. You guys know that they cannot do anything right uh, over there at Treyarch this year, bro. I don't know what the hell is going on. Um, they pretty much fixed the harp, but they didn't even tell us that they fixed the harp. Because <laughs> the, harp the harp was broken. The jammer used to counter the harp and, frick it and mess it up. But now it doesn't. They completely like buffed it they buffed the launchers too which is good so the harp and the launchers are fixed so now you can easily do those challenges well i don't know about easily bro the camo challenges in this game are fucking chalked so don't even go for dark matter ultra bro don't even do it go for it in like war zone or something because in this game it, it's a nightmare <laughs> it's a nightmare going for dm ultra in this game but they buffed the launchers so you can do those challenges. They buffed the harp. They didn't even tell us they buffed the harp. They told us they buffed the launchers, but they didn't tell us they buffed the harp. So at least they fixed that and fixed that. All right, that's good. That's all, that's all fine and dandy. But there's even more messed up glitches, bro. I saw a picture of, I think, Firebase Z or Express. I'm not sure. It was on Reddit, bro. <laughs> Freaking Express or Firebase Z was having a Rainbow Road Pro. It was looking all rainbow -y and shit. I thought I was, like, tripping on acid looking at that picture, bro. I was like, holy crap, bro, I'm tripping. It was wild, man. Uh, there's a lot of big texture bugs and stuff like that in the game. I don't know why this happens all the time, especially in theater mode. Like, there's, like, a... Just screen would just be black and like you would see the silhouette things goddamn call of duty character doing the silhouette challenge all you see is a black outline of a gun <laughs> and a hand but i think they are fixing that because you can't even access theater mode right now 
theater mode doesn't work. You can't access it. It is, like, locked. I'm pretty sure they're fixing it. And thank God, because theater mode was a broken freaking mess, bro. <laughs> and there's also a glitch in zombies where you could jump over a door. And um, it basically breaks the map because no zombies spawn. Dude, I have no idea what's going over, going on over there at Treyarch, bro. They're clearly rushed. They clearly have no idea what's going on. They're clearly rushed. Because you could tell. Like, even with Raid, they added little details, you know, to signify that it's the 80s. In Express, they just threw it out there. They probably just added textures, put it in the new engine, and just threw it out there. That's exactly what had happened. These guys are clearly rushed. They don't have enough time to make these updates. And it's evident. Because every single update that they add, it's broken and messed up right, the patches, they have to add a patch for a fucking patch, dude, it's ridiculous, man, just give these developers some damn time, bro, they should have pushed this game back, it is a glitchy mess, dude, <laughs> when I saw the Rainbow Road Pro on Express, I was like, Jesus Christ, dude, freaking goddamn COD characters on mushrooms, bro, <laughs> I don't know, man, and they didn't do any other weapon balancing changes, like the FR, the, the FAMAS, bro, it's still trash, they didn't buff it. I honestly think it needs a buff, right? Because I was using it today. I recorded about five games. The Craig get, the Creek game is the best uh, one I got. So that's the one you're probably seeing. But if this video goes a little bit longer and you see the FFAR gameplay, you'll see how trash that thing is, bro. Like, I'm trying my absolute hardest, and I went 24 and 10 with that thing. <laughs> it is so bad, dude. It does no damage. Like, it's better than it was before. The recoil is a little bit toned down, but they need to buff the damage, bro. And they need to nerf akimbos, and they need to nerf uh, the LMGs. The LMGs are way too dirty, man. They pick people off quicker than shit, dude. <laughs> They need a fat nerf. The akimbos are busted, bro. You've seen this gameplay right here. The akimbos are the best gun in the game. The shotguns in this game are garbage. Do not even use them. The street sweeper, by the time you're done reloading that thing, you're like 67 years old and you're like re retired and have like a retiree fund and shit. You're in an old folks home by the time you're done reloading that thing. Um, the gallo, the, the spas is trash. The freaking hower is the worst secondary in the game. It's horrendous. At least the freaking launchers can shoot down streaks, right? The pistols are completely broken. It doesn't matter which one you use. The Diamati, the Magnum, and the 1911s, they're all OP. They definitely need a nerf. They're so dirty. The pistols are broken. The Akimbo pistols, like, the Akimbo pistols is broken. Everything else is fine. I think the pistol by itself is not very good. But the Akimbo pistols are a complete fucking nightmare to go up against. But... I guess it's cool that we have Express back, but all those other glitches are just really, really annoying, dude. They need to patch the freaking Mushroom Trip Pro. They need to patch the door glitch in Zombies where you can hop over the freaking door. They need to nerf uh, LMGs. LMGs are way too freaking good. They need to nerf Akimbos. They need to nerf Sniper Rifles. Um, that's what they really need to do, man. That's what they really need to do because Season 1, I was pleased with the content that we received for Season 1. I'm not going to sit here and lie. We got, what, three new multiplayer maps, a bunch of face-off maps, uh, two, a zombie map, and uh, a Fireteam Dirty Bomb map. I cannot complain about the content. Like, good on you there. You did a good job. I wish we had all that stuff at launch, and we got more stuff for Season 1, but I'll take what I can get right now. I'll meet you halfway. Right, I'll meet Call of Duty halfway and say good job on the content for Season 1. But the bugs and the glitches, man, they're just ridiculous. You guys are a billion dollar organization, dude. Billion dollar organization, right? The quarter, the quarter 4 earnings for Activision are through the roof, man. I think the stock hit an all-time high. Despite all the bitching and complaining, it still sold well. Uh, Cold War, it's going crazy right now. Right, and they still don't have an anti cheat. They're releasing games with fucking three maps at launch and all these goddamn bugs where my character is tripping on acid and mushrooms, man. The guy freaking candy flipping on freaking express. All right, like you need to fix this. The zombie map or the guy, the zombie map is fantastic. All right, I'm gonna spoil the video for you guys tomorrow. The zombie map is amazing as hell. I love the freaking zombie map, it is great, dude. It's dope. It's easily one of the best zombie maps I've ever freaking played. The zombies team always comes with the fuego, man. They're freaking spitting hot fire, bro. I love me the zombie team, but the multiplayer team, they are the laziest some bitches ever, bro. They freaking basically just don't even reskin Express, put it in the map with garbage spawns. I forgot to mention that. The spawns in Express are terrible. I've spawned in the middle of the train. 
the bullet train from 1980 that's, you know, just been invented, like, what, like, 10 years ago in Japan? I, I spawn in the middle of that thing and get freaking ran over, bro. <laughs> like it's Red Dead Redemption or something. Um, people spawn behind me constantly. It's just, the skill-based matchmaking is annoying. Like, I don't know, guys. There's... Good job with Express, man. I like it. It's a good freaking map. No complaints there. Thank God for not adding the modern Snorfair treatment. But there's still work to be done. There's still work to be done. But this update is better than the last one for sure. The glitches are marginal. Uh, they're still annoying. Like, I do not want to see these kind of glitches in a billion dollar game. <laughs> but uh, it's better than the last one. There's no uh, Bruce Almighty Pro. I'm not sitting in the on top of the sky. There's just the Mushroom Trip Pro. The Zombies map is fantastic, and I'll be making a video about that tomorrow. But that all being said, thank you guys all for watching. This is your boy Cameron. And what are some of your best maps in Call of Duty history? Name off your top five maps right now in the comment section below. For me, it goes Raid, Goaded, best map ever made. Um, Grid from Black, from Black Ops 1. Upheaval from World at War. Um... What was that one from COD 4, man? Um, Crossfire from COD 4 and um, High Rise. Those are the top five best maps in Call of Duty history, for me at least. With that all being said, thank you all for watching. This is your boy Cameron. I'm out. So guys, uh, a little bit of an encore onto this video. Um, here's something I gotta complain about. They changed the movement in the game. I forgot to tell you this because I was fuming with about the glitches and everything. But the movement has changed. They made the sliding speed higher. So you're like, you got Roadrunner Pro now. You're freaking sliding all over the place. And it's like you got freaking Crisco on your freaking knees. So you're going all over the place, sliding like a scare actor at Universal Studios. Um, and they made the jumping horrible now. Like, you can initially jump, but if you try to do the pogo stick pro, it's like you're in quicksand, bro. Um, a lot of people have been experiencing it, and at first, I really didn't notice it. The slide speed is a, is very, very marginal until you start to really, like, kind of see, and it goes a little bit quicker, and your timing gets a little bit off, right? And that's kind of annoying, because I have to change how I play now, right? They basically are changing the entire meta of gunfights, because it used to be jump shotting is OP. Because initially, you can jump shot, but you really can't do anything else after that. If you try to jump again, you, you got quicksand pro, you got freaking weights on your, uh, you got ankle weights on, and it's really, really hard to do that. They, you cannot be pogo sticking around anymore, which is fine. Like, I think it's more balanced now, but I really wish that, that they would have told us about that because I haven't even heard anything about it. I think exclusive ace had to tell us about that. And which is ridiculous, like, the guy doesn't even get paid to test the game. And he's telling us about all these stuff that is hidden. There's, they're hiding stuff from the patch notes. They don't tell us anything that is in the patch notes. And I think, you know, messing with the movement of games is a critical sin, bro. It's, it's a cardinal sin to mess with the movement of the game, especially when people start getting used to it and, you know, start adapting their playstyle around certain movements. It's like if Advanced Warfare, you've been flying all over the place, all over the, like, you know, jumping all over the buildings, and they just took the jetpacks out. Like, you can't do that. I mean, the jumping and stuff is annoying, but at the same time, that's critical to the movement and how to win gunfights in the game, and now they're removing it. Now I have to relearn how to do all this stuff, and it's just a pain in the ass, dude, honestly. That's what I'm trying to get at. It is a pain in the ass to relearn and redo all this stuff just so you can adapt again. I, dis I disagree with that completely. I don't think they should be messing with the movement or any of the mechanics in the game. The only thing you should be fine-tuning is weapon balancing and balancing issues, and, you know, glitches and hacks and stuff like that you should never mess with the core mechanics of the game because then you ruin it and then you ruin it when you start messing with the core mechanics and I, I don't know if I'm all for that dude I'm really not I don't like that at all because now I have to get used to this again so eh, it is what it is guys um let me know what you guys think about that in the comment section below it's a little bit of an encore with that all being said this is your boy Cameron thank you all for watching uh, thanks for the support leave a like comment and subscribe if you stayed for the encore